Hi, I'm Hui Ling, and you're watching The Future is Asia. Welcome back to a new season of the Petronas Asia Road Racing Championship. I'm here in Sepang International Circuit, North Track, for the opening round of the championship. With many new happenings this season, let's go straight into our rider to watch and talk to defending champion of the Super Sport 600cc, Katsuaki Fujiwara. After bagging his first Super Sport 600cc title in the Asia Road Racing, Katsuaki Fujiwara returns with Team Mano Tech Beat Kawasaki Racing to defend his title. The 38-year-old proved that he's ready for the new season as he was quickest in all three practice sessions. What a good feeling. So I uh, already Japan testing two times here. The, um, also a lot of testing this bike. So we have a lot of data. Mm, so a good start 2012 season. With the addition of many new riders, Fujiwara is expecting a new level of competition among the Super Sport 600cc riders. I do best. Uh, still don't know to, uh, what happened, so uh, all time to must be best. But also other riders are really high level now. Mm, also really good light up. So uh, maybe we really more close to in the race, maybe everybody. So uh, maybe good fighting together, maybe. On race day, the defending champion's predictions came true, as there were plenty of head-to-head -head battles amongst the top riders. The pole man was under pressure throughout both races, as he had to battle newcomer Ruichi Kiyonari, Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman, and Muhammad Zamri Baba in the front. In the end, Fujiwara emerged on top once again in Sepang, and claimed his first double win this season. After finishing 8th overall in last year's Underbone 115cc class, Mohamed Ramda and Mohamed Rosli from Team Petrona Cynthia Moto Yamaha has moved up the ranks to join the senior riders in the Super Sports 600cc this year. Perasaan saya memang amat teruja sekali lah kerana dapat pelupa dan sebelum-sebelum ni saya hanya tengok orang uh, race saja dan kali ni saya dapat uh, berlumba dengan orang so saya amat teruja sekali lah untuk uh, berlumba dengan orang. Pada hari semalam uh, saya just uh, running uh, motor baru di mana uh, pada dua sesi latihan pada semalam hanya untuk uh, cuba running motor baru lah dan pada hari ini saya harap Saya dapat buat time uh, lebih bagus lah untuk berada di kelompok yang terbaik. With this being only his fifth time on board the Yamaha R6 machine, the 16-year-old will have to adapt quickly if he is to compete with the top riders. Saya rasa saya hanya hanya lima kali lah untuk uh, riding motor C100 dan saya rasa masih tak cukup pengalaman lagi lah untuk saya uh, fight dengan uh, Cuma tak cukup lagi untuk fight dengan rider-rider lebih pengalaman. Uh, setakat ni memang saya cuba untuk uh, tingkat lagi saya punya stamina dan uh, sebelum beraksi pada ARC round pertama pun memang saya ada buat uh, lebih banyak latihan lah untuk uh, membawa motor jenter nama TVC. Come race day, Ramdan's results showed that competing in top class would not be an easy task. He managed to finish race 1 in 11th place, whilst in race 2, the Malaysian riders suffered a crash early in the race and did not finish. After an impressive season where he took home 8 wins and his first underbone 115cc champion title, Indonesian rider Rafi Topan has also opted for the Super Sport 600cc class this year with Team Yamaha Induprom TJM Yamaluk KYT. Perasaan saya senang karena saya bisa belajar dari uh, pembalap-pembalap yang sudah expert uh, jauh pengalamannya lebih tahu daripada saya di Sikandre uh, dan saya berusaha uh, bisa tampil uh, tidak jauh daripada mereka. Similar to Ramdan, Rafi is also rather new to the super sports class, having only competed a total of four times in both Indonesia and Qatar prior to the opening round. Uh, Praktis saya semalam uh, kurang puas sebab uh, saya punya moto itu moto bekas Doni 
Nah, Doni motornya sudah broken. Uh, sasis sudah tak bagus. Jadi saya berusaha semaksimal mungkin uh, dengan kondisi motor yang broken, saya bisa buktiin yang terbaik. Saya sudah bilang mungkin uh, di Sendul uh, saya memakai motor lebih baik daripada ini. The 17-year-old successfully qualified eighth on the grid, but unfortunately crashed out of both races. This season, Danny Triugo is taking on a new challenge in the ARRC. The 24-year-old is said to be the only rider to do a double duty, competing in the Underbone 115cc class with Team Astra Moto Racing and representing Indonesia in the newly introduced Asia Dream Cup. Uh, perpindahan saya dari uh, motor lama ke baru ini karena di Asian Dream ini uh, saya punya impian yang sangat besar untuk bisa ke level yang lebih tinggi ya khususnya di internasional makanya buat saya kesempatan besar untuk bisa bermain di Asian Drift Cup untuk ke level yang lebih tinggi ya. uh, semua kelas saya akan tampil maksimal ya di ya, saat di di underbound saya akan berjuang keras untuk bisa podium dan di Asian Dream juga Saya akan mati-mati untuk bisa raih tiket ke Moto3. This means that the Indonesian rider will have to compete in a total of four races come race day, while his fellow Underbone and Asia Dream Cup riders will only race in two races. Selama ini saya berlatih keras di di rumah dan dengan dukungan tim dan teman-teman untuk uh, di di rumah dan ada pelatih mungkin buat saya untuk fisik dan kondisi saya untuk dua kelas enggak ada masalah dan enggak ada problem. With 16 riders from nine different countries competing in the Asia Dream Cup, Danny is looking forward to experiencing his first season riding on board the Honda CBR 250R. Buat saya Asia Dream Cup tuh bagus sekali karena di sini penjenjangan buat pembalap-pembalap bibit muda untuk bisa ke level yang lebih tinggi internasional. Saya di mana banyak negara-negara yang uh, ikut ngikutin dari Jepang, Australia itu semua buat saya semangat baru buat saya mungkin ya persaingannya lebih 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 seru di di adisinya gitu. Ada uh, banyak sih kita perkenalan juga dari Jepang, dari Australia, ya, dari India, dari Singapura, Thailand semua hampir semua uh, kita uh, punya dapat teman baru gitu loh. Nah, di satu di selain mereka ya buat saya uh, mempunyai keluarga baru di, di di balapan ini gitu. During race day, Danny did not finish both underbone races. Meanwhile, in the Asia Dream Cup, Danny collided with teammates Wandi Muis in race one and did not finish the race as well. In race two, Danny finally managed to show his capabilities to strike the Honda machine when he finished in fourth place. This round, Team CKJ Yamaha Racing acquired Japanese rider Akira Komuro as a wildcard in the Underbone 115cc class. The 35-year-old who is currently competing in the MFJ All Japan Road Race Championship in the GP3 class explained to us how he ended up here in Sapa. <laughs> Competing in the ARRC Underbone 115cc class is a whole brand new experience for Akira, as he has never raced in Sepang or a stride an Underbone machine. Hmm, so ですね思ったより音バイも速かったし、あのオートバイもしっかりしてまして、ただそのいじくれるところがですね触れるところが少ない分、そのライダーのやることが多かったり、すごい新鮮な気持ちでまあ走らせてもらってます。いやーすごくあの違う環境でね。あのすごく楽しませてもらってます。あのねあの自分の国以外の方とこうにね交流できるのもなかなかないんでそういう部分で楽しいです。Akira managed to qualify 15 on the grid and finished race one in 14 position and race two in 15 position.
Thank you for watching another episode of the Future East Asia. Remember that you can check out our new website, now available in six languages. That's asiaroadracing.com. And you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash asiaroadracing. You can also follow us on Twitter at AsianGP. See you next round in Sentol, Indonesia.